a tank seasoned by two wars, a symbol of adaptation and persistence on the battlefield. The M-51 Sherman, also known as the Super Sherman, carved its name into 20th century military history. Today, we're going to evaluate whether War Thunder, renowned for its realism, has faithfully recreated this battlefield icon. War Thunder stands out for its attention to detail. But is what we see on screen truly the same M-51 that fought in the Middle Eastern Wars? In this video, we'll carefully examine the in-game model and compare it to the real tank, analyzing everything from its silhouette to the smallest visual details. The M-51 was Israel's ingenious solution in the 1960s. Based on the M-4A1 Sherman hull, it was equipped with a new French 105mm gun, a modified turret, and an upgraded engine. With these changes, the old Sherman gained a second life, facing Soviet-built T-54s, T-55s, and even T-62s operated by Egypt and Syria during the Six-Day War and the Yom Kippur War. It wasn't a modern tank, but used strategically, it made a significant impact on the battlefield. In War Thunder, the M51 is presented with an impressive level of visual fidelity. The overall silhouette is accurate, the rounded M4A1 hull paired with a widened turret to accommodate the long and imposing 105mm cannon is faithful to the Israeli model. On the front of the vehicle, you can clearly see the weld seams, rivets, well-detailed hatches, the sloped armor profile, and even a towing cable that stretches from the front over the top and toward the rear. On the sides, the model features spare tracks mounted on the turret, fuel cans, toolboxes, and various tools directly attached to the hull. The weathering effects, scratches, dust, and dirt are a standout feature, carefully crafted by the texture artist, enhancing the game's sense of authenticity. The rear is one of the best represented parts. The engine compartment has correctly modeled ventilation covers with well-positioned bolts and grills. The fuel cap is present, and even the towing hook is in the right place. The turret, modified by the Israelis to house the new gun, is also accurately depicted. The side cutout, the commander's hatch, and the .50 caliber machine gun mount are visually consistent with historical references. Even the smaller elements, like the headlights and external brackets, are exactly where they should be. It's clear the modeling team had access to excellent visual references. In battle, the M51's performance is also consistent with what one would expect for its era. The 105mm cannon is powerful, but slow to reload, demanding precision. Its frontal armor holds up against light guns, but can't withstand modern weaponry. The vehicle's mobility in-game appears slightly faster than in real life. But even in War Thunder, it's no speedster. Still, it handles rough terrain with stability, just as it did in the desert. Overall, it's a tank that demands patience, strategic positioning, and careful aiming. It's not a scout. It's a mid-range marksman with its historical personality well-preserved. The M-51 Sherman in War Thunder is, without a doubt, a respectable representation. Both in appearance and in behavior, the tank was recreated with historical care and impressive attention to detail. Of course, no game is perfect. There's always room for fine-tuning. But in terms of visual fidelity and battlefield experience, the digital Super Sherman lives up to the name it carried across the sands of Sinai. If you're a military history enthusiast, this channel is for you. Subscribe. It's free and it helps us keep producing content like this. Leave a like, share the video, and tell us in the comments. Was the M-51 Sherman well represented in War Thunder? Do you agree with this analysis? Thanks for watching and see you next time.